Let's talk about the controversy surrounding the new military operation, Azme Istihkam. The operation has sparked significant debate in parliament. So we're going to analyze why is the move so contentious and why it may be necessary. The government announced an in-camera briefing to parliament regarding Azme Istihkam. Law Minister Azam Nazim Tarar stated that the National Security Committee will discuss the operation's execution with the Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif in attendance. This closed session aims to address security details confidentially. Defence Minister Khwaja Asif explained that the decision was made during an APEX committee meeting, including Khaybar Pakhtun Khwa's chief minister. The plan is to discuss this operation in the cabinet before bringing it up to parliament for broader debate. The operation aims to counter the resurgence of terrorism. This decision came from the Central Apex Committee on the National Action Plan involving all provinces, Gilgit Baltistan and Azad Kashmir. The recent rise in militant attacks necessitates a robust response. However, the opposition, particularly the Sunni Etihad Council, has opposed this operation. They argue that the Apex Committee does not have the authority to launch military operations and insist that the parliament should set the parameters. The Defence Minister Khwaja Asif confirmed the operation's decision in parliament, accusing PTI of supporting terrorists by protesting the operation. He emphasised that the decision will be discussed in the cabinet and then brought to the parliament. Asif also highlighted the violence against minorities in Sabat, Sargoda and Faisalabad, urging a united stand against the bloodshed. This reflects the broader aim of the operation to restore peace and protect vulnerable communities. PTI Chairman Barrister Gohar Ali Khan opposed the operation, stressing that it should first be brought to Parliament. He called for an on-camera briefing by the military leadership, emphasising the need for parliamentary consent. To that, the government's response was given by Law Minister Azam Nazir as he criticised the opposition for not listening to the Defence Minister's speech. He stressed that the national interest should be above politics, announcing that the operation's execution will be debated in Parliament. The Information Minister Ataullah Tarar defended the operation, blaming the previous PTI government for their stance on the Taliban. He condemned the recent vigilante justice incidents, underscoring the need to stop such actions and restore law and order. The controversy stems from the lack of parliamentary involvement in the decision-making process. The opposition fears that bypassing parliament undermines the democratic principles and concentrates power within the apex committee. However, the necessity of the operation is clear, given the resurgence of terrorism.